Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to a new series, Valkyria Chronicles, I believe that's how you say it. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, it's supposed, it's kind of like a strategy game. It's supposed to be like XCOM. I mean, I've never played XCOM, I've seen it, but this is supposed to be like it. So we're going to give it a shot. The year was 1935 E.C. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral, Ragnite, for their survival and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the east when the empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded and the second European war was on. The empire, with its vast military superiority, struck hard gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation on the defensive. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. March, 1935. Outside the Gallian border town of Brule. Residents are leaving the town before the invasion, headed inland towards the capital. I haven't been down this road in years. It really hasn't changed very much. Ready? Hey there, guys. You're beautiful. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? your hands in the air, slowly. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, uh, my name's Welkin, and you are... The one with the gun. We're with the Brutown Watch. I'm Alicia, Alicia Melchiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. <laughs> this book is nothing, really. Uh, I was just sketching the fish and, uh, you know... Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right, then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Thanks, fish. Flowers, bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. <sighs> Great. 
Welks? Is that you? Isara. Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait. Don't you live at the old general's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes. I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? <sighs> I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone keep your heads down! Over there! Right? Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. Okay, here's the plan. So this this will be the first time we're doing something, so... Cross the bridge, that's it. So, my plan is, we're not going to play it too slow, and we're not going to play it like, like I'm not just going I see three to of them. do That's stupid three stuff. Too many. Stay sharp. Listen a second, there's something I should explain. Okay, so this is just telling us how to do... So we got, is there a difference in them? Like how, I don't know what Ragnade is, but she's got a grenade. Okay, so they really, the only difference is health. So I guess My let's turn, go with okay? her. Okay, so now we're able to move. Gotcha. So what are those li oh, okay, so the lines tell me that they can, I guess they can see me? Is there a way that I get to, okay, I, so I want to crouch. So, two shots to the head kills even, but we got five shots to do this. Okay, so having more accurate guns would be a lot better. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't. Th I can't make it to that cover. I'm hoping. So what my plan is to get them to the edge of this bridge, or maybe to this rock. I don't think we actually... Okay, so you can end it like that. So I got her to that rock. Here we it go. should keep us from getting... Just... Really bad shots. I'm gonna give some pot shots here. Okay, so he shoots us as we're walking too. Okay. Gotcha. 
Oh, we actually I didn't think we'd actually get him. Yes. Okay, so then they can actually Gotcha. So like I said before, we're not going to play it too safe, but we're not going to just like run at them like we're invincible. So I need to So what is Ragnate, I wonder? Is it I mean, it's not a grenade, so it's got to be like healing maybe. I don't know, let's get up here to him and see if it is. Okay, so it is healing. Thank you. So this one's going to get to move three times. Are we going to get to shoot him as he comes at us? Yeah, we are. He's a heck of a shot. Take this. We're... I, I kind of put him at a weird angle, didn't I? Oh well, that's fine. That weird angle is not going to kill us. So we got to get behind this cover before he. Now. I said that wasn't bad work. I'm sure I'll run into some that I just I don't see any more of them. do not get done right. Got a B rank though. I guess in A rank, you'd have to just do it in one turn. I don't know how you'd get that. You'd have to have a heck of a shot on that third person. Miss Melkiot. There's no other sign of the enemy. Good. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what should we do with the bodies, ma'am? We'll bury them. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. I'll do it. Even going to war, I'll do it. Seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war, there was also new life. On the 15th day of the third month, of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mist of time, a story of courage and of trust, of persecution and hate, and of love blooming even through the flames of war. What follows is a record of this conflict and of those who fought, lived, and died. Chapter 1, In Defense of Bruel. <sighs> C 
seeing that old mill spinning again really makes it feel like home sweet home. Hmm. <laughs> I hear that. It really is one of the most beautiful things about this town. Well, citizens, our enemy can't be far behind. I thank you for your help. Goodbye, and take care. <laughs> How's the packing coming along, East? Almost done. I only need to take the everyday basics. Well, the Empire's got to be close by. Let's hit the road by sundown. Martha, look! Wilkes is here! Oh! <laughs> Welcome back, Welkies! <laughs> You're still calling me that? Martha, I'm 22 years old. And more important, you shouldn't be running around. Aren't you due any day now? Ah, oh, a light jog won't hurt the little spud. I should know. I've already had four of them. <laughs> Hello there. Um, I is Welkin in? Oh, hello, Alicia. What brings you here? I just wanted to apologize. For before. Um, here. This is for you. Really? These are for me? I work at the bakery. Well, I did until the war started anyway. It's where I live, too. That's preserved bread, so it's pretty hard. Heat it up before you eat it, all right? I baked it myself, so the flavor's guaranteed. Best you ever had. Thanks. Uh, do you want to come in? Arrested and shot at? <laughs> You've had a busy day of it, haven't you, Welkies? And what a lovely lady you are for all that adventuring. Good job, Welkies. What? Wait, no, it's not like that. Alicia just saved my skin, that's all. He's right, we just met. I'm not his girlfriend, just his hero. Although I'm really hoping to be his friend. Oh. Well, I'm sure you will. Be good to my Welkies here, won't you? Okay, seriously, Martha, enough with the Welkies already. That's a lovely portrait. Is that General Gunther? Yep. It was taken before I was born. But that's Dad. That's Dad? You're a lucky guy. And who's that with him there? My father, Tamer. He was an engineer. The General's tank was his creation. Wait a minute. But I thought the General was your dad. My birth parents died when I was a baby. The General was kind enough to take me in as his own after that. Yeah. We're not related by blood, but she's definitely my little sister. Sorry, was that question too personal? No, I don't mind at all. I was blessed with two wonderful fathers. Yeah, I guess you were, huh? Oh, is that really the time? I... Why don't you see her off, Welks? I can take care of the rest of this on my own. All right, I will. I'll be right back. See you later, Isara. Safe travels. Look at this. Brule's really becoming a ghost town. They've been leaving for a while. Just about everyone is evacuated by now. You can't blame them. Tensions are rising with the Empire. We'll survive. The Town Watch will guard and protect the home front. Everyone will come back someday. They'll come back when it's safe again, right? Mm hmm So, Welkin, I'm curious. Are you going to join the army like your father? Hmm. 
I don't think that's for me. What I'd really like to do is be a teacher. Huh. A teacher? Yeah. Animals and insects, flowers and plants, they've always been my passion. I've learned a lot from nature. You see, my dad, he protected this country as a general, but it's just that I, I want to give back in my own way, my own way, you know what I mean? I think I do. You're sure about it? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's deep in your own way. What was that? That sound. Believe it. The mill. Miss Melchior, the Imperials are attacking. There's a squad of them in town right now. Get all the town watch together now. We've got to fend them off. They must be at Mill Plaza. I'll help. Thanks, Wilkin. Now move out. Stay low. I'll explain the mission. I'm trying to figure out it, what exactly we're trying to do here. Okay, let's begin. It's up to us to defend Brule. Our target is the Imperials in Mill Plaza. Focus on taking down their captain. Breaking the chain of command should at least buy some time for the townspeople to get away. All right, I got it. Let's all be careful out there. Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain. Okay, so I don't have to render the aid. Okay, so there's... Oh, it tells me that he was crouching. So he's apparently behind some sandbags. Let's Ready take Wilkin. Hostile sighted. Y'all really starting some crap here. Well, I figured out the, to kill everything. I mean, really. Aim for the head. Now. Yes. And so just in their action. I mean, I guess I could have moved up, but doesn't she have? My turn, okay. I think she has grenades, so I can. Well, that's not nice. If I move to that box, but there's a guy like behind. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, so we took out his. If we take out these first ones, we should be. He better hit something. I'm 
We're just gonna crouch right here because I think there will be. I think that one guy should move up towards us. If we get him to move up towards us. Yo, he's got a lot. Of, oh, well, he's moving back. But where you are peppering him. Ooh, if she'd have hit one more shot, I think we'd have been good. Now. Nice shooting. So, I'm going to do the Watchman first. Hit one shot. There you go. Check our corners. So I think everything should be good. There's somebody. You know what? Get him right there. That way we actually... So I think, is that the leader? Because he's red has to be. Here we go. Dagum, he's going to take nine shots to kill. I mean, if I get everybody Roger, moved up okay. there, at least I can... She still have grenades? Yes, she does. She stays down. Now. Get rid of that cover. So next time, whenever he starts moving, all three of us should shoot at him. Well, really and truly, all three of us should be shooting at him. Alright, I am way too far ahead to be doing this. I mean, we're not doing any damage. So that tank's gonna just wipe us out. What's on the back? Okay, so shooting the back does it. Well, it only does one, and it has four. I can't hit 1,400 shots. Okay, so we got to escape. Well, that's not good. We're not equipped to take out a tank. I hate to say it, but we should probably pull out for now. Get off this road and into the alley to the east. It's too narrow for a tank to follow. And try to stay behind cover while moving. One blast from that turret, and it's over. You 
Use it on yourself, bro. We got some running to do. There ain't much we can do. I mean, there ain't much we can do about these guys. I mean, I guess I could try to. I mean, that's a lot of. Here we go. It's a lot of running. All I can really do is like try to take out as many of these scouts. Yes. So I've got to make it past these guys. I mean, I don't really want. I mean, I can get. Her, let's get her to the. I kind of want to keep everybody separated because that tank has the. Uh, that like mortar almost. This guy right in front. I mean, the thing about it is, is if I think we needed to actually need to leave right then, because if this tank pulls up. He pulls right down this street where you are toast. He's dead. I'm sorry, town watcher. I didn't. Wasn't nothing I could do for you. I'm sorry, bud. Oh, crap. So, like, him pulling down this street is not good. Because as soon as we start moving, he's going to pepper us. Ready to go. Yes. There we go. Oh, I had to. Oh, if I only if I would have thought about it, I'd have just. If they're rolling in the tanks, there's not much the town watch can do. We'll try to buy time so everyone can get away. I'll dig in my heels at the main gate and do what I can to stall them. Okay, I'll head back to my house and grab Isara and Martha, then come back. Be careful out there, Welkin. Let's see, yeah, uh, I think if we'd have just taken off and run, we'd probably gotten a B.